A beautiful summer night in Southern California from Dodger Stadium. Tonight it's the first of three to start the new week between the Boston Red Sox and the Los Angeles Dodgers. It's Dodger baseball and it's next on the show. About set for baseball in Southern California as Dustin Pedroia's into the box to get us going. Boston, second baseman, number 15. First of three here to start the week as the game's first pitch is taken for strike one. Harold, you look at this Dodgers team as they enter play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Well, Matt, I really like their pitching staff, but I think the key to this game is clearly falls on their shoulders. They throw off-speed pitches for strikes, and they mix their pitch as well. I think if they do that, they got a chance to win. Swing, and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. The three-two now to Pedroia. Grounded down the third baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And another foul ball. He'll try it again. Three and two. And he lays off ball four. That's exactly what you want your leadoff man to do. Work the count and get on base. Second spot tonight. The left-handed hitting Andrew, Andrew Benintendi stands Benintendi. in. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Aboard at first is Pedroia here with nobody out. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Kemp going back on it. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice Having about third. trying to move up. Right fielder. Here's Mookie, Mookie Betts. Vet. First swings for him in this one with the runner still at first and one gone. And that one stayed too low apparently. And that's right there and we're even at one. Runners on first with one down. Two and one. Good discipline to lay off there, and it's three and one. Seems like he's really having a tough time finding that rhythm right here in the first inning. He walked a guy, now he's falling behind this hitter. He better figure it out quick. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Batting four. Here's the first, first baseman, baseman now, Mitch Moreland. Mitch. First chance Moreland. for him in this one, as he's got that average pushing up near 350 to begin play. And he swings and pops it foul behind the plate. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to make the play for out number two. Digging in now, Bradley Jackie Beth. Bradley Jr. First at bat for him Jackie in this one. And he's got Bradley that average up over Jr. the 300 mark for the year. He's set and the pitch. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. The 0 and 1 delivery. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Now a ball hit pretty well to left but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Two down runners at first and second. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. Taylor's got it and the throw to first will be in time so the Red Sox come up empty and the inning is over. Digging in Justin Turner. They lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Third baseman, 
Just and no swing apparently ball one Harold Reynolds this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight they've been pretty much unstoppable the last couple of weeks or so winners of nine straight ball games they are sizzling hot right now they look as good as they're going to look probably all year you don't put together streaks like this they're looking for 10 games in a row how many teams have the ability to do that they're playing great ball right now man are they fun to watch and he takes ball four. So the leadoff Adding man second. is on here in the home second half of the first in a scoreless Chris ball game. Taylor. Chris Taylor stands in as he looks at ball one here. A lot of times you'll see the take sign after five straight balls to start the inning. But with the middle of the order up at the plate here, I wouldn't be surprised if he's turned loose. Just has to be the right pitch to hack at. In there, one and two now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. There to look it in his bats, and that's out number one. Here's Corey Seeger. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line and left. Benintendi is there and he has it for the out. Now batting number 35 batting and he's ready first to take his left. first cut. Number 35. First pitch coming here it is. Now a swing and he pops him up right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate and he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Coming to the plate now, Xander Bogart. Certainly had it working Shortstop. for him at the plate this Xander season. The average is Bogart. up over 350 entering play. And he holds hey. up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. The 0 and 1 delivery. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. Here it comes. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Here comes Waka on a one-two. Half swing here, but it won't matter. It's strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. First offering on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Here it comes. Nope. And he lays off for ball one. That's that controversial pitch right there. It's in the zone, should be called a strike by the book, but it's not a strike in baseball, not in the big leagues anyway. This is hit the other way out toward left field, and Kemp will look this one in for route number two. Batting Stepping in, in Eduardo Harry Nunez. Nunez. His and average Bruno coming in Nunez. way up there in the 380s. Check swing, ball but he held up in time, time. ball one. One oh count here it is hard hit ball to second and that is in there for a two out base knock so worst case scenario a two out base hit and the pitcher will not lead off next inning batting ninth, at the plate the Rick pitcher, Porcello as he'll get his first Rick opportunity Porcello. in this one becomes set here's the nothing and nothing pitch late that time for a strike. Well this is an interesting scenario Matt. I think with the pitcher at the plate here on two outs you're probably not going to see him steal because if he gets thrown out then you got the pitcher leading off the inning. Take a chance see if he can hit a ball in the gap and maybe score you from first. And here's a ball hit in the air. Seeger onto the grass. He makes the play. A great catch on the run to retire the side. So coming to the plate, Jock Peterson. He'll Leading start things Dodgers. out here in a tie ball game. Center fielder, Jock Peterson. Bounce towards the mound, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Nope. Set up away with the changeup, but it's 1 and 1. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. 
Looks at a changeup that catches the corner. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. Never okay. tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. But Pedroia there to pull it in, and that's the first out. Here's the first pitch to him. Pulled toward right center field. Bradley will range to his left and put it away. Two down. Now in the box, Yasiel Puig. The average for a mentoring play sits down in the 250s. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll make it in there with a two out double. Into the box. Matt Kemp. He enters play hitting in the 260s for the year. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. For Puig. He picks up double number two on the year. To third. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Dustin Pedroia. He'll step Second in to baseman. lead it off in the top Dustin of the third. Pedroia. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Yeah. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk, coming right after him here. And he misses there, one and two. One and two, here it comes. And he won't go after the cut fastball, two and two. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Another 2 2 offering. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Peterson has a read on it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Digging in to now try it again. Andrew Rob Benintendi. Fielder. 0 for Andrew 1 for him here Benintendi. in this one. In there at the knees, strike one. Third inning, no score to this point. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Hard hit ball to second, gloved by Taylor. On to first, and there are two down. Ready for another chance? Mookie Betts reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. And this is going to be a foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Strike two on the curveball. 0 and 2. That curveball just frozen. That's one of those big curveballs you're expecting to go start at you like this one did and break yeah, all the way down to the bottom of the plate. But this one didn't get that big break away and it froze it. Those 0 2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. Digging in for his second at bat. Mitch Moreland. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Moreland. From the stretch. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Well, that was a big two out single we just saw, and for pretty obvious reasons. The inning went from totally under control to now. He's got to deal with some dangerous hitters here with a runner on base, and this is how two out rallies start. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a called strike two. Ready to deliver the one and two. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Well, he's barely still alive. That's a nice check swing right there. Two strikes, two outs. He's still hanging in there. Now you take a deep breath and try to get something to hit. Puig's got a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Into the box now. Michael Walker. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Michael. 
Waka. There's Porcello back at it now as he gets ahead of the leadoff man. No balls in a strike. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. Well, it's awful difficult, Matt, to hit when you find yourself down 0-2, but particularly when you haven't even swung the bat yet. Now you're in protect mode, and you haven't taken one swing. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one-two. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. There to play it is Moreland, and there's one away. Riding in once again, Justin Turner. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Skied into straightaway right. On the move is Betts. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. The Stepping in, number Chris three. Taylor. He flew Second out in his last at bat. Chris Taylor. Orcello gets the sign. First pitch on its way. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. That's a great check swing. That's tough to hold up on that pitch. It looks like a fastball and the slider just breaks away from you. He's held up though. Strong hands. Betts has a read on it. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Here's Jack. Bradley now. Boston. He's 0 for Center 1 thus it. far. Jackie Bradley Jr. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1 and 0. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Uh, I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low scoring affairs. Too tight with that one. Three and zero. Oh. Well, he's been throwing the ball pretty well so far, but right here, three balls to the leadoff guy to maybe get them a chance to get them going. He's just got to come back, make them swing the bat. I'd rather see him earn his way on the base by swinging the bat instead of a walk. Catch made out there by Kemp, and Number there's two, one gone. Xander Bogarts is in for the second time here as he looks at one outside. It's 1 and 0. Now a flare out toward right center. We coming on. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now batting, 
catcher. And that'll bring Blake. in the speedy catcher Swihart. Blake Swihart. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Oh now here's a drive out to the alley. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. Stepping up to the plate. Eduardo Nunez. One for one after a single his first time up. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Now the 0 1. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Waka delivering a 1 1. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Seeger is there to. Here's Corey Seeger. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Leading off the fourth for the Dodgers. Into the windup and the pitch. Number five. Hit back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. At the plate, number 35. 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Prior to the 0 1, here's a look to first. No runs, two hits, no errors for the Dodgers thus far. And again, a throw. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. And that's through for a base hit, make him one for two in this one. Here's Jock Peterson now. now. Hit it hard but lined out in his first Jock at bat. Peterson. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Seeger rounds the corner and is headed home. So won't get him. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Flied out of Yasmani Grandal. First pitch of the at bat. Hit out towards second. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. And that'll score the run from third as they go up two to nothing now. And now is Yasiel Puig. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And he can't track it down. A base hit. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. It's a 3 nothing game. So here's Max. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at bat. It's ball one. Well, this is starting to feel like a make or break moment in this game. When you're playing a first place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in the game and then mount a comeback. Betts has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And no shot of testing anything there. He'll hold on at third with one gone. The pitcher number 55. So striding forward Michael now, Michael Walker. Walker. He popped out in his first trip. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. Well, you got two runners on. 
the 0 1 pitch and he pulled up in time but it's a cold strike two. This is where you got to pitch to the strikeout infields drawn in you don't want contact you want to make him swing and miss throw the nastiest stuff you have Bogarts has it and he is in there ready for another shot now Justin Turner he started out the evening 0 for 2 so far good lead off his second there now the pitch and this one's in the dirt and the runners will stay put here on ball one. Here it comes, 1 0. Oh. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Bradley is there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Digging in once the again, batter, Chris Taylor. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Chris, A decent Taylor. lead at second. Here's the pitch. Bouncer down the line. But it gets foul. Four runs here in this half inning. Chopped weakly to the left. A scoop with the bare hand. Hey now. Now at the plate, Rick Porcello. He'll start things out as we begin the fifth. Rick Porcello. Into the windup and the pitch. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Well, we know he had a long half inning out there pitching. And now he's leading off the inning. He's probably going to take some pitches, try to get himself a little bit of rest and work that other pitcher and not have to get right back into an inning. Well, that's two impressive fastballs, two mid 90s fastballs just reaching back, saying, I dare you to hit it. Finds himself in a nice 0 2 count now. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for out number one. Second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. Dustin Pedroia is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0 and 1. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Peterson has a read on it. Two down. The left-handed hitting the Andrew right Benintendi stands in. He's Andrew 0 for 2 thus Benintendi. far in this one. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Taylor has it. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. At the plate, Corey Seager. He'll start Leading things out the in the Roger. home half of inning number five. Now a Corey swing and a Seager. ground ball, but this is foul for the first strike. The wind up and the 0 1. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Not quite out of here. It's off the out of town scoreboard. And it's a good start to the inning for the Dodgers on the leadoff double. Digging in and looking. Looking for more. And now Number Boston. 35. Here comes the first pitch. Slap hard the opposite way. That's in there. Base hit. Now the throw comes quickly into the third baseman, so they're at the corners now to begin the inning. Now Striding in, Center Jock Fielder. Peterson. Shot. One for two on his line Peterson. so far in the game. Throw over to the bag. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. He hit that change up hard. Man, he saw it good, just wasn't able to keep it fair. And there's one. ball one. Four runs, eight hits, no errors for the Dodgers thus far. On the ground, up the middle. A step on the bag for one. But they will not get them both as he beats out the back end and drives home the run from third. Number nine. Ready once again, Yosemite Grandal. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. And a nice job to stay with it that time and get the second out of the inning. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Yasiel Puig. He's got a couple of doubles thus far, so we'll see if he can keep it up. Swing and a little blooper to center. Bet's coming on. He 
can't get there, so the inning will continue. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. And a foul pop behind the plate. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to put this one away. Good reactions there. In the Here's Mookie Betts. He'll try and do what he can to work for cutting into this big deficit. Mookie Betts. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. 0 and 1, here it comes. Now a cut fastball, but that doesn't threaten the zone. It's even at one. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Mookie Betts goes down to become the first out in the sixth inning. Throw gets him two down. Here's Jackie Bradley now. Center he comes fielding. in 0 for 2 Jackie thus far. Bradley Jr. Grounded up the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. The wind up and the 0 1. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Bradley waits on the 1 1. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Puig racing back. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Here's Zander. The shortstop, number two, Xander Boker. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both a lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. Grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball here, 0-1. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. We're really watching a great performance. This is a good hitting team. He's got two outs already in the sixth inning. We're one out away from watching him get through the sixth with got? all zeros on the board. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Bradley rounds third and is digging for the plate and to score the runner from second and he will pull into second with an RBI double digging in once again Blake Swihart one for two with a double on his line thus far and he gets ahead 0 and 1 for Bogarts that's 12 doubles now on the campaign here's a late swing and a miss strike two He's falling behind right now after that swing right there. Now he's 0-2. And 0-2, and choke up a little bit and try to put the ball in play. You just got to be in battle mode right now. And he starts to go after it. Question was, did he hold up in time? Yes, indeed, says the third base umpire. Ball two. Count, two, and two. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. Swing and a miss and that ends the inning. Ready once again. Michael Walker getting to hit for himself here largely due to the big cushion he's got to work with. Swing and a liner but foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Little dribbler down the line. That winds up foul. Here it comes on nothing and two. Now a little pop-up off toward the first base side. And no one will get this one. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Push to the right side. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Riding in oh, once again. Justin Turner. Third baseman. Justin Turner. He's set. Here it comes. This is line to left. Benintendi 
is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Second baseman. Digging in to try it again. Chris Taylor. Taylor. He was a ground out victim last time up. Dribbled up the line. He's got it. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Here's Corey Seager. Two for three. Josh Smith takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base and they're loaded now with one away. Number 35. Digging in and looking for more. Number 35. He's two for three thus far. And that misses for ball one. Line drive to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's now seven to one. Okay, Stepping in and ready for another shot. Jeff Peterson. He reached on a fielder's Peterson. choice previously. Looking to minimize the damage here. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. Now an off-speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger. That was a changeup, so there really wasn't any intent behind it. Looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit. That'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup. And he will get there to make the running play. And Striding in, Eduardo Nunez. He's one for Hitting two the in the ball shot. game. Third baseman. Eduardo Nunez. Fly ball out toward left center field. Kemp giving chase. He makes the play. A fine running catch to get the first out of the Nobody. inning. Brooke Holt will move into the on deck. For Boston, number 12, Brock Holt. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Now a ball lifted high in the air towards shallow right center field. Puig's got a read on it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. There's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Over two with a walk for him so far. Squared that one up just a little late. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Waka delivering a 1 1. Line drive to left, and that'll get down for a two out single. So the top of the seventh isn't over yet after the two out base hit. Ready for another chance? Andrew Benintendi. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. That's lifted the other way out to left. Kemp has a read on it. And that ends the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Fernando Rodriguez comes on now to pitch now, hoping Boston. for better results than Number the other arms that they've run Fernando out there in this one. Rodriguez. Ready for another shot now. Yosmani Grandal. He'll lead things Leading off the as they look to perhaps build Catcher. on an already sizable Yosmani lead. Swing and a liner. Foul. The 0 1 pitch. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Swihart waits on it. He's got it one away. 
And now is Yasiel Puig. And he's working on a three-double game right now. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Bradley on the run. He's got it, and there are two down now. Stepping up now, Matt Kemp. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Hit weakly back to the mound. And that will conclude matters here in the... Here's Mookie Betts. A hit in two tries so far. Right fielder, Mookie Betts. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Here it comes. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But this will land foul shy of the wall. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, Not your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. So the breaking ball locked him up there. Mookie Betts becomes the first out of the inning. Back goes Puig. Gone! Trying to pick things up. Now batting the center fielder, Jackie Bradley. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Now pitching for the Dodgers. Number First 36. pitch of the at-bat. Adam, leave a two. Swung on and missed. And now some action in that Dodger bullpen as a left-hander has begun to get loose. And Bradley swings and misses at that offering, and he's deep in the hole, 0-2. Well, the first two pitches are interesting. Both away from the left-hander. Will he bust him back in and challenge him? It's going to be a good at-bat to watch. And a neck-high fastball that time. One and two, here it comes. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. So stepping in, Xander Bogarts. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Hard hit at third. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by him, a base hit. And that'll bring in the speedy the catcher, right Blake Swihart. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. And here's a ball hit in the air. Seeger into shallow center. He gets there. To now batting, Adam Lieber. And he's getting his first plate. Of Morgan Forsythe. He's going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. First pitch curveball swung on and missed. Strike one. He'll lead it off for the boys in blue here in the eighth at Dodger Stadium. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Here's the 0 and 2. Hard ground ball to third. One away. Now with the plate, Justin Turner. He could really use a knock here. Corey Taylor answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but this is foul for the first strike. Comes set and the 0 1. A swing and a miss at the big curveball. Well, that's a true indicator he's looking for a fastball in. He wanted to spin the win right there, knock one as far as he could. He got the off speed pitch inside, and he pulled off of it. Hit out towards second. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. Coming to the plate now, Chris Taylor. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. 
He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Fastball down near the shoe tops. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen. And this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series and maybe even the whole week ahead. That's so difficult to hit. Hard fastball and a nasty curveball. You just have to sit on one or the other and hope he throws the one you're looking for. Swing and a miss for strike three. Hold the. Yimmy Garcia comes on from the pen, now hoping to finish this one off here in the top. Number 63, Yimmy Garcia. Eduardo Nunez is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Now the Dodgers get a right-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he. He set down for the first down. J.D. Martinez. Number 28, J.D. Martinez. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. So digging in now, Dustin Pedroia. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. and Line to the right side. Puig is there. Makes the catch and the ball game is over. Well, the man you see right there had a game to be proud of. He really came through and it mattered, and he's our top player of the game. Yeah, he was a big factor in this one, guys. He swung himself into a three-hit ball game, so he was seeing the ball really well and put some good swings on it, too. First for the victorious Dodgers.